Happy 4th of July! <laughs> How cute it is. Oh, she just knocked it in here. It's adorable. What is that from? I've never seen it before. Up there. There's men's, oh, okay. Thank you.
your bank account. Hi, dear. Oh, God. Turn it off. <laughs> Put something nice over there. Put oh. something <laughs> I don't think I look bad, too. <laughs>
Alright guys, so happy 4th of July to everyone. I have off work. Um, this is like, well I've been at my new job for like two years now and I used to never get holidays off other than Thanksgiving and Christmas. So to have off on other holidays like the 4th of July is amazing. And surprisingly, they were there were actually a few yard sales today that really surprised me. Um, typically, people don't usually have them on the 4th just because, you know, everyone makes plans or travel goes out of town, that kind of thing. But I did stop at a few and I found a couple of things. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I found. So at the first yard sale I stopped at, I got this little burlap bag. It has two Wen hair products in and these are brand new they're still sealed and they are just the sweet almond mint cleansing conditioner i know when used to be super popular i don't know if it's as popular as it once was just because i think they have um lawsuits against them because of i don't know people claiming that it actually makes you lose your hair i don't know but i do think there are still a lot of people who swear by it so i picked that up for 50 cents and you'll have to excuse my nails they look horrendous i need to do them also at that same yard sale i purchased these muckluck slippers these are brand new still have the tags um Looking at the price, they have it blacked out. These must have been a gift, but originally they were $11. I paid $1 for them, and they are my size, a small medium. So I got those for winter this upcoming year. They just looked really comfortable, and I love slipper socks. I purchased this Bath & Body Works Aquamarine Body Spray at a yard sale. They had a lot of Bath & Body Works products there. They were mainly all like $3 a piece. I like the smell of this though. It just, it kind of has a summery scent to me. Like it smells beachy to me. Um, it says the fragrance notes are ocean water, mint leaf, and wet stone inspired by the deep sea. And I think it smells really nice. It's kind of, in my opinion, a unisex type of smell. So I really like the scent of that and it was $3. Like pretty much all of their Bath and Body Works stuff was $3, which is a great deal, but I really don't need a whole lot of Bath and Body Works, so I only limited myself to one thing. So I stopped at a yard sale that was one of my mom's favorites. She loved going to this yard sale, and I didn't even realize that it was the yard sale that she liked going to. Um, my mom passed away July 3rd, 2015. Today's the 4th. So yesterday was kind of like the anniversary of. And I, it was bad. It's always bad. But, oh, I see a bunny rabbit. Oh my God, it's so precious. And there's a butterfly flying around. It is so sweet and wholesome looking. Okay. So I feel like she tries to distract me sometimes when I'm talking about it. So I don't get so upset kind of thing but i actually went to the thrift store yesterday after work um to you know just it was something that we enjoyed doing together and surprisingly the day wasn't as bad as past years have been um still sucked but um i didn't cry a whole ton so um i was a little proud of myself about that but then you know you also feel guilty for not um but so today when i was yard sailing i put in my into my gps this yard sale and i pull up and i'm like oh my god mom this is your favorite yard sale so it was i always enjoyed it too um the ladies I don't know, their daughter must be grown probably around my age uh, because every time I go there, I always find vintage uh, toys and stuff like that. So I found three vintage Rainbow Bright puzzles. So the first one looks like this and these were all a dollar a piece. So I got all of them. Hopefully all the pieces are there. Um, I'll put them together to find out. So it was that one. Then this one, which is a little larger so stinking cute and then this one's probably my favorite picture wise so those were all a dollar a piece and then she also had a wuzzles 
If you guys remember the Wuzzles, I loved the Wuzzles. So, I got that one too, and that one was also a dollar. She had a bunch of these vintage jigsaw puzzles. She says that they're from the 1950s. They're by a company called Built Right. I only picked up one. She had a couple, but I liked this print the most. It's of the three little bears. So I got that, and that was also a dollar. Then there was this box of rubber stamps, Stampin' Up. On the box it said it was a dollar each or five dollars for the entire box. So I just bought the whole box. Um, I don't really know how well these will sell or anything like that but i figured i'd give it a try i'm gonna lot them up probably all together but they look brand new and they're a little older like from i think 2006 2007 is what i was seeing on them so this one is called holiday blitz and it just has little small stampers in of like different you know holiday kind of themes this one is called dreams du jour so on the front it kind of gives you like an idea of what all the stamps are and then you can actually see them on the back so it looks like maybe some of them were used but for the most part they look new this one i'm not quite sure but it looks like postcards traveling i see like luggage and stuff like that so that one this one is called a beautiful thing this is the smaller pack of what looks like flower type shapes. These are two terrific tags. So they just look like little tags. I like the yum yum tag. I thought that one was really cute. So that looks like that. Then there was this small one that just has little swirly doos and stars, things like that. And then the last one also looks like tags and they're called tags so much and just different ones as a halloween christmas valentine's day and easter so that whole box for five dollars so hopefully i can get more than five dollars for the box then also at that sale i got one book and it's called um dark places i got more than one book I'm fairly certain I picked up more than one book, um, but I don't see it, so I think maybe they forgot to put it in my bag. It's not the biggest deal ever, but this one is called uh, Dark Places, so I got that. It sounded really good. Um, I don't remember what they charged for the books, but uh, before I left there, I had told the lady about how, you know, my mom loved coming to her yard sale, and she remembered my mother. Um... I don't know exactly like if it was just from yard sales or if she, you know, kind of knew who she was type of thing. Um, so it was, it was interesting, you know what I mean? Like it was, I don't know, maybe a, a sign or something. I don't know. Like it's just weird. Like of all yard sales that were today, which was only a handful and one of them was her yard sale. So but yeah, um, then I went to another, well, one of the last yard sales I went to. Um, I got this vintage baby planter. I don't think this is really worth anything, but I thought it was adorable. It reminded me of Melanie Martinez, uh, but it is made in Japan, and I just thought it was really cute. Like, obviously, you could use it as a planter, or you could use it as, like, a pen holder, or anything like that. But I just love the, like, sweet kawaii bot sweet kawaii vibes it kind of gave off and then i got one book and this is called mr mosquito put on his tuxedo i thought this looked so incredibly adorable i love children's books i collect vintage children's books this is not vintage but um it just seems so adorable the illustrations are so cute um and yeah, I just decided to pick it up. So I'll probably pass it along to someone after I read it just because it's so cute. Like I just, it'll put a smile on my face when I read it. So I picked that up and that was 25 cents. So that is everything I found today. Not a whole lot just because, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of yard sales, but um, it was kind of a spur of the moment type thing last night. I was like, oh my gosh, I saw some yard sales in the paper. So 
I just decided to check them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little impromptu yard sale haul, and I will see you next time. As I was kind of putting my stuff back in the bag, I found the other book. So here it is. It's called In a Dark, Dark Wood. So that was the other book. They um, didn't forget to put it in the bag, so thought I would let you guys know.